So starting off the minifigures with the by far the best two, we have the new Woo here, which is great to see Woo have a new outfit, which I'm really hoping does a like debut in the new season or mini movie or whatever we have. And then we have got Pixel. So let's quickly start off by taking a look at Woo here. Then we'll take a look at Pixel. So starting off by taking a look at Woo here, the minifigure I think is absolutely fantastic. He's got all the little um, details here, all the symbols. I really like the look of this. That actually isn't that all six of the ninja symbols, or or maybe it's like the six virtues, one of the two. You can see that there, but actually removing his hat, he actually has like the legacy face that slash I think it was using the movie as well. So that is kind of disappointing that oh no, sorry, I don't think it was using the movie, but the fact that he doesn't actually have like the ponytail is kind of disappointing, but still you can see all the symbols and everything there. I think it's a really good minifigure. And then finally, here we have Pixel's hair piece. I mean the Pixel minifigure. You can see this here is a new Samurai X. Again, I really hope this does debut in the new season as well. Like, I really like the new suits, apart from Nia's, because that doesn't canically make sense. I don't know if canically is a proper word, but in canon, of course, you know what happens with Nia. It doesn't really make sense. But yeah, this figure is really cool. I don't actually want to say, yeah, I know it's been a while, but still, yeah, this figure is really cool. I like the armor there. You can see her face print, which technically isn't accurate, but I haven't really really looked if she's had a redesign or not maybe it sort of would make sense if she has but nevertheless you can see that she looks happy and angry there it's really cool just to see another pixel minifigure we haven't had one in years i think since hunted and also just the fact that we've actually got a hair piece so there you can see that front and the back so yeah this pixel minifigure is really awesome so then taking a look at kai and nia here the smith siblings as you can see they've got some really neat printing and the kai here i really like the orangey yellow flame color i think orange is a highlight color that kai has never had really apart from that little bit on rebooted but he's absolutely perfect and ideal for him definitely works better with him than i would say cole but moving them around you can see their little pads here which look really cool you have their hair pieces which look really neat and yeah i think these figures are really cool let's quickly remove their back pieces and there you can see that they're with their back printing which is really cool and yeah they've all got this same kind of logo which is mostly the evo logo but yeah these figures are really cool and one thing that i also really like is the fact that they actually give you the hoods as well and kai's i think this is the best kai hood i really like the yellow and red it looks fantastic and the near hood as well has got the dark uh, the, the gun metal gray and the blue as well the darker your blue so yeah these figures are really neat and i really hope that these are the new season suits discluding discluding nia zoe because that wouldn't make sense and then next up we have got lloyd and we have got cole here these minifigures again are really cool i really like the masks here i think they're really cool especially for lloyd because i don't believe no he hasn't he's never actually had the lime green or sorry the light green rather so yeah it's really cool to see we have this weapon here for cole which is pretty cool of course it's just a hammer like he normally has but yeah there you can see the front front prints which i think are really cool the helmets are really nice the masks rather sorry and that's what it looks like on the back and if we and there you can see their back printing to which look really neat so yeah these figures i think are really good like i really hope we do get to see them in the show because they're quite unique and even though actually looking at it i know that kai has also um got some orange i don't think it there's a problem with them using it in fact sorry it's not even orange is it no it's like a mustard color so anyway that's even better but yeah they also have these like different color legs which i think is really awesome so then finally taking a look at the two snakes here we have got these honestly i think are really cool i really like the boxing gloves on this one i think it is pretty cool taking a look at all of the printing and everything you can see it has the massive gloves there yeah i think it's a really neat snake then taking a look at the back printing you can see that they're the scowls and everything i really do like these snakes and it is sort of a disappointment in a way that they won't appear though again i kind of don't want another snake season for at least 10 more seasons because they've definitely been overused and then taking a look at the construction one which wouldn't have been funny if they'd added like a little red hard hat that would have been quite funny but yeah this is really cool the construction worker here of the snakes looks really cool it has a hammer here which is sorry an axe rather it has a couple of drills on the side and yeah it uses this outrider piece which like i've sort of said i don't really like that piece but still nevertheless it's pretty cool but taking a look at the back and the front so those are the two snakes now let's take a look at the main build of the set which is pretty awesome so starting off by taking a look at nia's little water area straight off the bat this is a really unique idea we've never really had like a little trainee area in this sense it feels 
a little bit more simple than others. Not too much technique. Well, there is no technique, really. It's quite a basic build, but the way they do it is actually really cool. You simply can just push these off with the water blast pieces, and I think it's just a subtle but really nice piece. Here you can see we have the bush, like the tree, which I really like that. The leaves look really cool. But if we move down into this area, you can see that Nia has a little area that she can focus on which is pretty cool and you can see we have the bridge in the background this she can do like a 360 on which is really cool we have some water behind which sort of links of course her element you can um, put these water blast elements which these actually come from the crate in the back which i really like that they um, let you store them there i think that's just another little cool thing though they could have given them to nia and she could put her sword in the back then moving around you can just see it's quite a small area but it's just a quite a simple area really it's a nice little area you can see we have that then we've got the bridge which the bridge i think is quite unique it's a very interesting way of doing it they basically put the railway and then they clip some pieces in between which i think is really creative like this area is most probably the most um interesting and, and like, entertaining building part i have to admit that so then you can simply just put these in there they do fall off a lot which can be a pain but i mean it's okay and the idea is of course that you can sort of flick them off to knock them off which I think is quite a cool idea. So yeah, that is what this area looks like. You can put the figures on the bridge as well, and I will show you where that connects. So why don't we quickly connect this? Just like that, which there you can see that we have got it connected. So yeah, that is quite a simple way of connecting it. I do like the way that's done. And now if we actually move on to taking a look at the whole temple, wow. The temple does look pretty cool. Well, let's actually remove that again, because we don't really need that at this point in time. But taking a look as at the temple as a whole, you can see it is a pretty large model. It's really tall. It has the annoying antenna which honestly I don't like antennas in Lego because they take up so much shelf space and I really didn't want to take it off for once and I wouldn't have actually able to with the combined mech over there with it but yeah if we start off at the bottom you can see we have some really nice rockery which is honestly just using that like sort of trend and trope from the t in temple of their jitsu just using these kind of shaped elements to create the rockery which I don't mind but I think it's just one of those things that was really cool when it's first introduced but now they keep using it sort of over milking that technique but anyway there you can see that sticker we have which is pretty cool that is like an entrance sticker you can see we have one of the mario plates we have a clip there to put maybe another flag and yeah the rockery i think is really cool we have a plant here we have a balcony i really like the fact we have a balcony we've got some just cracks in the rocks and natural things like that and to the side we've got this little entrance which i think looks really neat you can see that there we've got the little shuriken sign we've got a little entrance and this sort of reminds me of the one in the blacksmith which is really interesting from the pilots but there you can see there's some technique holes which i'm wondering does this connect to the other set like we've seen some photos but it doesn't really give us a clear look but i'm hoping we'll see that soon on march 1st which i do forget about that set to be honest we've got some more um, big ugly rock pieces here we've got these which this is actually a play feature which i'll show you that shortly and then we have got this rockery there so that is pretty cool we have the area which is sort of open and exposed i guess there's an entrance but it feels a little bit over and exposed but anyway taking a look you can see we have this sticker here we've got some paneling and we've got some rocks which i'll again show you that feature in a minute we have the doors which i really like these big red doors and i think it just looks really neat of course that follows up from the stairs we have another lantern sort of reminds me of the chinese new year sets which is really cool and there you can see we have the flag and all of that then moving up we've got just some more roof elements which i really like this area this area is quite detailed and condensed which is pretty cool you can see we have the logo up there then moving around you can see we have some more of the roof and everything it looks really cool again it's quite a simple design but still it's really cool you can see that we have this part of the roof which looks really neat you can see how that's done with the little pole on that at the top so yeah that is really cool you can see just moving on down and having a look at that sorry i don't know why it still it's doing the overexposure but yeah that's what that looks like it's a really cool one to have a look at from the exterior i have to admit the exterior is definitely where the shine of the set is but then if you want to twist it around it's really simple to twist around but then also it's really simple on the interior so if we start off at this little room here this is sort of like a wet room i want to say or a bathroom you can see we have a bucket is that the toilet or not a toilet who exactly knows i would love to ask the designer that honestly such an interesting question here you can see we have the hot and the cold taps some pipes you can see we have the sink with a bit of water in it and then we have these pipes to the left and the right i'm not sure if they're energy pipes water cylinders something like that but still moving around you can see we have this little cave and we actually have this rock feature which the idea is is that they basically break in which i'll show you that in a second then moving around you can see we have this cave again which i like this cave i think it's like a nice little area but it's it's kind of wasted. I really feel like they actually should have um, 
filled in the floor here, it would have been better to put minifigures. But then we move over to this part, which you can actually open this up. And this is like, I guess, a mini Samurai X cave. I guess that is actually the idea because of like, I guess, our uh, current monastery in the show actually has a base underneath. But there, you can see we have Kai's mech. We actually have some, um, I don't know, blueprints for Pixel here, which is really cool. And that a flammable sign. We have one for the snake. And yeah, this looks really neat. You can see we have the controls. This I thought was really cool the way they clicked on these handlebars. We got the button. Yeah, I think it's a nice little area. They're moving. Moving around, you can see we have Nia's mask, and you can put four of the ninja's helmets here. Sorry, a mask, which I really don't get because there's six of them, so that is definitely a little bit weird. But moving that around, you can see that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like the room you have a clip up there, which then taking a look up here at the clip, you can see we have a Kita and Kai here on this game. So, yeah, this is a really neat little area, and you can see that this does move on round to that entrance which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, moving that around again, you can see that which links. To me, it's kind of weird just how it's sort of open in that sense, like you can get in quite easily. But anyway, taking a look at this, we have the Ninjago alphabet, which I really like the fact that they've included that. We have the little kettle area, which is pretty neat. We have a couple of massive um, vases here, which is really neat as well. We've got quite a lot of space. We actually have the dojo area, which really, the do even though dojo is in the name, you barely get a dojo. You just get this little board with two shurikens, Two of Lloyd swords, and we get like a little scroll about spinjitsu or the seven virtues, one of those things most likely. Then again, we have a little space which is where you connect the bridge. Which then, if we move on up, you can see that we have got these four flags, which these I don't really believe mean anything. They're just simple flag designs, which is pretty neat. You can see we have Nia's um spear here in the back, and I believe the idea is you can put Kaya and Cole's weapons here. So that I think is pretty neat. We also have I want to say the first Binjitsu Master here, it sort of looks like his, I wouldn't say it'd be Yang, so I guess the beard is a wrong colour, but yeah, we have a couple of Lloyd swords, but I believe that's more for decorations, and you can see we have these ball joints, which I believe might be to do with the flags from the mech, if I recall correctly, and then moving on up, you can see we have this little shrine at the top, we have two Kuntanas, we also have this little um, um, card here, which I think that is really neat, we'll take a look at that better in a second, we also have an umbrella in the back there, then we also have this newspaper over over here which is pretty cool so yeah i really like this up little area it's quite neat but then again it's quite simple like i don't really feel like we've got much detail up here like there's not even a little unit there's some holes and everything which are then taking a look at the two well technically four little things from the top there first off you can see we have this newspaper one with this mug using one of the action pieces that pose it loosely on there which i absolutely love that i think it's just really creative way of doing it you can see that we have this towel here with that little weird robot mech thing yeah sorry the sticker's not the best placement but yeah you can see that there which i like that it's a pretty neat thing and if you actually take that off inside we have a mic which i guess that could be a reference from the end of a season i believe eight you know when they basically win and then they realize that no garmadon actually has returned then you can see we have one of the cards which is absolutely fantastic to see these little cards return i love that they're putting them back hopefully that will continue we have a couple of skate of the skates in here which of course is tournament season four and then finally we've got umbrella which I don't know where this is from, actually. Could this be to do the Crystal King Emperor, the, like, the one in the set name? Anyway, we don't really know about that. But, yeah, they're pretty cool accessories. I do like that mug thing. I think that is pretty neat. So, yeah, let's take a look at the final play feature of the set. So, basically, if we're taking a look at this wall, the play feature is really simple to do. All you've got to do is literally ram this vehicle into it. So, if we move this set on around and actually have a look at it like this the idea is that you simply just get it like that and you ram through the wall and it knocks some like studs going off which is some debris which is literally in this little bucket here you can see and that is literally it that is all the play feature is honestly i think it is pretty neat so yeah let's actually take a look at the drill which then taking a look at the drill you can see this here this little drill vehicle this i think is a really neat vehicle like honestly i love the little unique vehicles it's just i don't know something about them to me it's just really cool and actually sorry if we just move up you can see him sitting there it's just a really cool unique idea but you can see we actually have one of the mech body parts here which i think is so weird but i like it you can see it actually covers it up perfectly it's such a weird vehicle like i don't know how to say it quite a lot of them are just weird and wacky but really wonderful little things you can see that there so yeah that is what it looks like it's just a simple little drill you can use it for the play feature and everything so yeah that is literally the little drill very nice build indeed
So then taking a look at the little mech for Kai here, which actually, fun fact, in the little shorts we saw, the combination of the shorts have been released weekly, it seems like Tuesday at this rate. It was actually used by Cole, but anyway, taking a look at this little mech for Kai. So starting off by taking a look at the feet here. Yeah, it, they look pretty simple, pretty nice design, you can see. Moving up, we've actually got the new leg piece and the, like, the new shin pads, if you want to call it that, or technically fire pads, but taking a look, that is really neat. I like the orange and red. I think orange is a really good secondary color for Kai and in fact we've never had it I'm looking at the figures now we've never really had orange I guess the rebooted suit was the only time we've really had a hint of orange so that is definitely a shame and I, that's really one of the uh, main uh, parts I like about Kai's suit this time around but taking a look you can see that there it looks really cool with the logo moving it around to that arm I really hope on the like I said with the mini figures I just really want them to see them in the next season but taking a look you can move that on down you can see we have the space for Kai which if you want to put it in there you will have to move his Cantana, but removing that you can simply just um, put him in at the back and do it like that so that is really cool i like the look of that you can see we have the cannon there which the cannon i think is really cool we have like the stud shooters and everything like that so yeah it's really cool it has got the new um stud shooter which i'm not really a fan of at all i prefer it before the era of stud shooters i prefer flip fire missiles myself but there you can see that little flag too so yeah this is a really neat little mech which i think this would pair very nicely with zane's you can see we have a couple clips but he's katana so yeah this is kai or coles whoever you want to call it in this edit for this context it is kai's kai's mech looks really cool again you can actually put a katana in that hand you can put one there and everything so yeah this is the kai's mech which i think is really neat now let's take a look at my final thoughts of this very interesting set so there we have it i hope you did enjoy this video overall i think this set is very interesting in very many different ways so for example let's take a look at the actual build like i said i really love the build of it i think it's really cool it's quite unique with the big red doors it's just quite a vibrant set in the sense it's quite um simplistic as well in the design which i really like the look of that it honestly does vary up again a little bit the minifigures are great this weird vehicle is really unique i like the creativity the mech is honestly not that bad it's a great set like if that was a nine pound set that'd be a bargain this water area i really like the look of it but then if we take a look at the building process here it was not honestly the most thing interesting like i was building it but i kind of found it a little bit boring in a way it weren't that creative in a sense of for me who's built a lot of sets it felt really simplistic i get that they're making it towards more kids but to me this just felt really simple for someone who's built a lot on ninjago and as a massive ninjago collector it honestly was not the most fulfilling build it's a bit like oh you gotta do this you gotta do that it just felt not i didn't feel much like it, i don't know i just didn't feel that interested in the building process it just wasn't the most interesting sorry if i keep cutting out i'm using a gimbal at the minute and i'm still trying to get to like terms with it trying to understand it in that so it still keeps doing a few bits and sorry if it drifts over a little bit i am still getting used to it here but yeah then again the figures are fantastic like the pixel mini figure honestly like come on that figure's incredible really because of the hair piece and the new face print though the face print technically isn't accurate i don't believe it anyway it's still a really good mini figure and like i said the build i do like i think the build is really good but it just feels really simple when building it and the play features are cool but then again if this isn't in, in ninjago i don't know it's not going to be as interesting it's just like another temple you know it's a i have so many mixed opinions on this set it's really hard to say but that's kind of where i'm gonna say do i recommend it i don't know like it's one of those sets what do you think do you like what you see is this worth the amount of money i mean i think it's worth it the figures are cool the actual main like structure is cool the vehicles are just the actual building process which is one of my favorite parts was not the most interesting but actually sorry i want to show you this bridge i really did like the bridge so yeah that is what i think of this set honestly i don't think it trumps like the monastery set not at all i think it's a good set like i said it's great if it's unique but it's definitely not the best so thank you all for watching this video what do you think of this set leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until the next video i'll see you there bye for now